With the release of Mix and Key 11 Pro, Mix and Key adds some new and really useful modes and features. New modes such as a new mashup mode to help test and find mashups in your library, a new DJ mix mode to help you test and find transitions and add them quickly to a new playlist, and new features such as stem separation that you can use in mashup mode to help you come up with new mashups, and it also has the ability to export those stems as separate files, the ability to change keys of your tracks plus or minus six semitones to help you come up with new mashup ideas, and a really powerful idea filter that'll help you build playlists faster. So let's jump into Mixed and Key 11 Pro and show you exactly what these new modes and features are about. So here we have Mixed and Key 11 Pro, and this is the My Collection window. And this looks very similar to the previous versions of Mixed and Key. Now what we'll wanna do is go ahead and click on Pro right here. And this is where we can access the new modes and new features of Mixed and Key 11 Pro. So currently we're in the mashup mode, and this is super simple to use and really powerful too. So all you wanna do is click and drag a song to the left deck and mix and key will automatically go through the library that's loaded in and search for songs in similar keys and similar energy levels and find songs that it thinks would make a great mashup and notice right here we have mashup ideas so we can go through a number of different mashups that it's found in my library and all we have to do to test it out is hit this test mashup button now notice both songs have vocals playing which is probably not gonna be the best idea. So we can actually use the new stem separation feature by clicking right here. Let's take the acapella from this side and then we'll take the instrumental from this side. And now let's give it a try. Bad bitch, brand new, she from out of town. Oh. T, gotta Sounds good to me. Let's test out a different idea. Bitch, brand new, she from out of town. T, gotta play that pay whatever. from out of town. Sounds really good to me. And it's so easy to just go through different mashup ideas and just go ahead and test them out. Bad bitch, brand new, she from out of town. T. I love the fact that it automatically goes through my library. And because it's searching by different things such as uh, key range and energy level, I can come up with new ideas that I wouldn't even think of just by using the software and its ability to just analyze my library. Now say we have found a mashup that we really like, like I really like this one back here with Walk It Out. I could go ahead and save mashup and now it'll be saved under my favorite mashups right here. And notice it has both songs saved so I know that they go together. But say I want to do it live and I'm using stems. What's great about Mixed and Key 11 Pro is I now have the ability to export the stems by clicking that export button. It'll go ahead and analyze the songs and then I can save the stems to a folder. So let's just go ahead and save it on the desktop, just like that. And notice I have all three right here, saved right away. And then I can throw these back into my library to have access to them in my DJ software. Now the other mode in Mix and Key 11 Pro would be the DJ mode. So let's go back to all music. Let's just load another track. So let's try this one right here. And then I can go ahead and just like the mashup mode, it has playlist ideas and it can pull up different songs that it would think and would suggest me to try to mix together. So I can go through different ones like this and find one that works for me. So let's test this. Oh, let's turn this back to full track. And one thing to notice too, that mixed and key also use sync to make sure that the songs are at the same tempo so we can test the, that DJ transition idea correctly. Now say we found a transition that we like, we can go ahead and save it by saving it to playlist. We can either add it to an existing playlist or we can create a new playlist. So let's say a playlist one, hit create. And right here we have it added. I can go ahead and keep testing different transition ideas hit save to playlist, just like that. And all of those songs will be added to that playlist. And I can just go ahead and keep testing ideas 
and then working off of the songs that I've added. And this is a really quick way to intelligently test out transition ideas and make a playlist faster. Now, another new function in Mixed Key 11 Pro is the ability to actually add loops and have them playing to just test out different ideas. So again, let's go ahead and just load this song right here. And I'll just go ahead and pick this cue point. Let's play it. Money, I'm a star, star. Right. But let's say I want to loop, let's say four, four bars. I can activate it. Money, I'm a star, 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 so star, playlist star, ideas. star, star, star. I get money, I'm a star, 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 star. Oh, money, I'm a star, 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 money, I'm a star. In this way, I can test out different ways. I might want to use looping while I'm actually, you know, playing live. Maybe I want the acapella to loop right there at that hook section of that Meg The Stallion song. And then I can switch out different instrumentals or different intros on the second deck. It's really simple to use. I can access the both the stems and the loops uh, really quickly and then once I find an idea I can just go ahead and hit save the playlist and let's just add it to that same playlist and now it's added in as well making just playlist creation especially for you know just different ideas when you're working with stuff like stems a lot faster and manageable than in other DJ software now probably my favorite new feature of mixing key 11 pro has to be the idea filter so what this does is we'll go ahead and click on idea filter right here. We can go ahead and pick a playlist. So I'll go ahead and select my all playlist, which has my entire collection inside mixed in key. And I can filter it down by energy level and tempo to help me come up with ideas. So let's go ahead and select energy level four through six. And then tempo, let's go from 80 all the way to 110. And then I can save this filter and now it'll go through my library and then even in DJ mix mode or even in mashup mode, I can test out different ideas based on this filter. So if you have a really large library in your mix and key, this can help kind of sort it down and get you to exactly what you're looking for as far as a new transition idea or a new mashup idea a lot faster. And this could be a really powerful tool, especially in situations like if you're playing like a themed party, maybe an 80s night or an R&B night, you can just go into those specific playlists and filter down using energy level and tempo to try and find new transition ideas and new mashup ideas just a really powerful tool to help you speed up the process of making playlists. With the release of Mixed & Key 11 Pro, with its new modes such as the new mashup mode to help you find and create new mashups, the new DJ mix mode to help you find new transition ideas, and the new features such as stem separation and export, the ability to change key to help you find and create those new mashups and transition ideas, a new looping function, and that powerful idea filter Mix and Key has gone from just a preparation software to an idea generation software, in my opinion, which makes it a lot more powerful. Now, if you're interested in Mix and Key, I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description where you can find it. And keep in mind that Mix and Key is a one time purchase. This is not a subscription. So you pay for it once and you got it for life, which, in my opinion, is a great deal. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to this channel. And shout out to all my patrons on Patreon. If you're interested in more DJ related content or one-on-one -on -one coaching and some free DJ edits, definitely check that out. I'll leave a link in the description below as well. And of course, if you're looking for more DJ related content, click on one of the videos right here and I'll catch you guys in the next one.